But now let's jump into Marvel. So Marvel's going to be the big talk. Everybody's going to go to going to go to the Marvel thing. There's so many things happening with Marvel, but there's also a lot of unique things. And the reason I say that is because Marvel also has D23, which is the big Disney convention in a couple weeks after that. So the best way to kind of split this up is I think Marvel is mostly going to focus on Comic-Con for the movies. I think they're going to focus on all the movie stuff there. Anything Disney Plus related, I think will end up going to um, D23. I think it just feels more that's the thing that they want people to buy into and stuff. The only thing I think we will see there is Daredevil. I think Daredevil is like the guarantee we're yeah. getting a trailer. What yeah. do you? So we're just going to go back and forth, maybe not a specific order. What's one thing you want to see at Marvel first? I definitely want to see uh, Daredevil. Daredevil? Uh, yeah. I love the Netflix show. Mm -hmm. It was really good. It was incredible. Yeah. We just need so a trailer. Awesome. We just need a trailer. I and just want something to just concrete the fact that it's... Okay. It's real. It's, yeah. And it's good, hopefully. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm <laughs> Have you heard about too. the drama on that show? I heard that it got like rewritten or something, right? Yeah. Basically, during the strikes, they edited the first three episodes for, and they looked at it, and they're like, this is ass. Oh, wow. And they re... They got they kept some of the footage, but they rewrote a lot of it and basically said this is Daredevil season four now. Uh, Bullseye's back, Punisher's back, Karen's back, Foggy's back. Oh, that's everyone's cool. back basically. That's awesome. Where the I original like show it was just Kingpin and Daredevil in it, and I think Punisher was still going to show up. Yeah, but that was it. So now we're getting everybody back. Yeah, I'm and it's just, not uh, twenty two episodes. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I'm just glad that they. Um, decided to just keep Charlie Cox. Yeah. As, we were there together when they yeah. announced that they were doing this show, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They were, that they're just going to keep him as Daredevil. And now he's plat like actually planted into the MCU. MCU. Especially and with that, She Hulk. Like he is officially there. Yeah. Like, and now Punisher is going to be a part of that too, which mm -hmm. is really cool. I love John Berthold. Same. He, he's such he a great does pick. A really good job. Awesome. So Daredevil is so, one of your picks. For me, yeah. Um, Fantastic Four is the obvious one. We know they're going to be there. There's already art everywhere, so I'll just mm. get that one out of the way. It's the obvious one. I think, because uh, Kevin Feige talked about this, they start filming that movie the day after Comic-Con. I think they're going, I think they'll be the first thing that comes out. I think they're going to come out on stage, talk about Fantastic Four, and I think they're all going to be in the suits. Mm. I think Pedro, Vanessa, Eben, and um, Joseph will all be in their Fantastic Four suits. Obviously, the thing is going to be CGI, but I think they'll just give him one of the onesies with the four on it. Yeah. And I think that that'll be such a cool thing. And I'm going to throw a pitch out. I think Dr. Doom gets uh, confirmed for the film, and I think we find out the actor there. Oh, that'd be cool. What do you do? You agree? Are you excited I, for that? Yeah, I think Doctor Doom's always a good villain mm -hmm. for them. It's what about solid. the rest of the cast? Are you excited for that? Yeah, I think Pedro Pascal is okay. going to do a really good job. I so, love that. Speaking yeah. of Pedro, real fast, I really hope they bring The Last of Us to to Comic Con. Oh yeah, Season like two. it's almost done. Just bring some I of the see a cast. A lot of the photos they show a lot of the photos. Behind Today the it came out. You see her tattoo. Set. You see her tattoo. Oh, that's so. so cool. Um, you know what I was thinking about as you were talking about this? You know, it'd be a really cool announcement or just hmm. at least showing. I remembered that at least video game wise, I would love to see a little bit of the Wolverine game. Oh, that is true. And if they were to do, it won't be at this panel, but it would be cool to see Insomniac come back because they just did the Spider Man one. Mm -hmm. And then they did do a trailer for it, not for the show um, or the movie, but they did have a Blade video game announced. Oh, yeah, they, they did. Had a trailer for it. From the Dishonored crew. So yeah. that, that'll be cool. I'm interested to see. So I, I would hope to see something there because mm -hmm. obviously I'm a big fan of video games. Yeah. So I would love to yeah. just eat anything. I love that. that. Do you have another movie you want to state or you want me to go next? Mm, Marvel, 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 Marvel. I'll go, I'll go next for now. Yeah. Uh, Blade. I think we will see... Mahasha Mar Marhar Jesus Christ Marharsha wow. I cannot Marharsha I can I usually can say that name pretty well uh, Ali I'll just say that because I cannot yeah. figure out how to say his name right now off the top of my head it's been a long day uh, I think he comes back obviously we were there when it, no you weren't there that was the year you didn't get to go that was the first year I went when they announced him he walked out it was like the biggest crowd pleasing thing oh that's so cool. I think this year they bring back him. I think they announce a director. I think they announce that they know what they're doing with this. Mm -hmm. And I think we get a Midnight Suns announcement. I think they're going to film Blade and Midnight Suns back to back. For people who don't know, Midnight Suns is the horror Avengers. Blade, a Moon Knight, a Ghost Rider, 
uh, the werewolf by night, all the man thing, uh, Elsa Bloodstone, like all of those horror creatures. And I think we get that announcement that we are officially getting that movie. That'd be cool. And I think they're going to talk about all the production and stuff like that. Something you asked me before we got into this was, do I think Thunderbolts is going to show up there? Yes. I was going to say, do you think, um, obviously with everything that like happened with the strikes and just like the general receiving of like Marvel films and like Marvel media, they had, when we went two years ago, they had that whole world planner of like what's coming out. Oh, the, the map. The we're getting a new one. saga. Yeah. We're getting a new one. I think, I think they're going to, I think they're going to come out and address like, we know people have not really loved what we've been putting out, which has been for a lot of different reasons. Some of it's Disney, the old CEO hovering over their chest saying, you got to give me this Disney plus stuff right now. Mm -hmm. And then you have this other stuff where it's like, okay, now they have Bob Iger's back. He's letting them do their shit. I've heard Deadpool and Wolverine's awesome. We're seeing it Thursday night there. Mm -hmm. uh, IMAX, San Diego, come, that's going to be fucking cool. Yeah. To I have that wait. crowd experience. Yeah, that crowd is going to be yeah. super good. I, I know what I'm seeing, and I am seeing it beforehand, but I'm going to close my mouth. <sighs> I can't I, believe you. <laughs> sorry, man. I got I to gotta review shit. I know. But I'm more excited to see it with you. Mm -hmm. Spoilers, because we're going to do a spoiler review, guys. But I'm more excited to see it with you, San Diego, Comic-Con, and IMAX with all those fans. You think Not we'll see, with critics. You think you will see someone there? I think Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman might show up. That was the next thing I was going to tell you. I think they're going to be at the panel. I, I think hope so. I wouldn't be shocked if they come out and they're... He, okay, this is my... I know we keep jumping around a little bit. Um, I'm going to say this because I'm going to fucking forget. I think the panel ends... With Avengers 5 officially being announced. Well, it's already been announced, but you know what I mean? Actual mm -hmm. title, not Kang Dynasty or whatever. It's going to be an actual title. I think we get that in Secret Wars. But I think they come out, they say who's the director is, and they see Deadpool and Wolverine are in the movie. And I think they walk them out and say that. What do you think? I think that'd be pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. And I think that's that's the big thing there. Oh. So, but uh, also Thunderbolts, you asked me about that. I think they're going to be there. If you're asking me what we're going to get exclusively, I think Thunderbolts, they're going to show the trailer to us and that'll be it. They won't release it online or anything yeah. like that. Captain America will probably be there, but the date this episode's coming out, there's rumors that it actually might be coming. The trailer might be coming this week, oh, okay. which is kind of interesting to me. I thought they would just hold it till Comic-Con two weeks. Yeah. So. Maybe they're just trying to build up some hype for it. Maybe, uh, panel. but yeah, I mean that, that could be a big thing. Anything else you're hoping to see there? Any Spider-Man news? Any, like, do you want to know when the next Tom Holland Spider-Man's is? Oh, you or? know what? Uh, oh, at least Marvel wise. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I think a new Spider-Man, that would be cool to be like, oh, Andrew Garfield's coming back for another film. Oh, like so, Secret Wars yeah, or something. Yeah. I mean, that would be cool, but I just want to see really good Marvel films again and just, me come too. back and just be excited for yeah. them again. And that's actually a topic I really want to do after we come back from Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, and I, I don't think I brought it up with you, but we'll talk about it. I want to do a topic about this is if Deadpool and Wolverine's awesome. And mm -hmm. the critical consensus with everybody is this movie's so good. I'd like to do a topic of what does Marvel need to do to like, what should Marvel do to keep being good? Mm -hmm. I think what do you think? Um, this is just probably my field coming out and yeah. like what I do for work. But I think when you like withhold a lot of these things and you allow people to not be oversaturated with it and just like, um, when you withheld something that you hold dearly, mm -hmm. you, you get more desire to have it. Right. So I really just, I think for them to be good again, they just need to take their time, which is what they're doing. It seems right. So, like, Deadpool and Wolverine is the only Marvel, only MCU Marvel movie coming out this year. They can't control Madam Web or Craven the Hunter or Venom. Yeah. But specifically for them, it's this. Um, out of the shot of the dark, is there anything else big that you'd like to see announced at Marvel, though? I mean, I would like to see something from Craven now that you've mentioned. I don't it. think Craven goes there. You don't think Sony's going to do something at least? Uh, Sony would have to do it separately, and I don't think they will. Yeah, maybe um, because of Horizon not being there either. 
Horizon. Uh, uh, I thought they were going to do a Horizon show and then it got canned, didn't it? Uh, Netflix, yeah. Yeah, but I was going to say, like, that's still another Sony thing that they could have. Like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, like, I could see that. Uh, Madam Web sucked. So, yeah. I mean, that's that's another whole thing. So, I don't know, guys. Let us know what you think Marvel will be bringing to the panels at San Diego Comic Con. Fingers crossed, me and Phil get in. If not, I'll be doing a live stream on those reactions.